Greetings and salutations universe, this is Krita, and this is a test world, because I want to talk to you about the basics of Greg Tech Power. Greg Tech Power is broken down into all sorts of voltages and amperages, and things can get really confusing. So I want to give to you a teensy bit of knowledge that might help you get your journey started, or maybe you'll just learn a trick if you've already experienced a whole lot. Now we're going to grab some cables and take a look at these machines. So they're all basic. Everything in our video here will be basic machines, which is low voltage stuff, right? Low voltage means 32 volts. Now that can go up to ultra or max voltage, which is uh, 2.1, I think that's trillion volts. Don't worry about that. Right now we're learning about low voltage. Um, before low voltage is ultra low voltage, which is what these pulsating iron wires can move. These guys can only move eight uh, volts and the steam turbines, which we're using here as a demonstration, I don't care where you get your steam, uh, these guys push 32 volts. So when it tries to push into our cable, it will burn all of your cables. So you wanna make sure to use the proper cabling. Um, for example, this conductive iron wire. Now the difference between wire and cable is whether it's insulated or not. Now this cable will power probably, I guess two of these machines. That kind of will demonstrate that not all recipes will take the full 32. Even the, though this furnace can take 32 volts, it's not using all 32. So this guy is completely empty of power, but he's just barely getting by. The only thing is this, Kate, this wire right here, it's not insulated. So if I step on it, Krita will almost die. And that's not good for Krita, not good at all. I would prefer that we probably use something more like this lovely insulated, wait well, no, that's pulsating iron. See, be careful with that, right? We wanna use conductive iron and this'll still work. The really cool part starts when we have multiple sources. Now in the real world, if I place a cable here, that'll overload this iron cable because now there's two amps flowing through it, but Greg Tech only checks the sources. A steam turbine only pushes out one amp, whereas a CEF, this guy for example, similarly to a low voltage battery buffer, has a max amps put being pushed out of four. Now there are other types like a 16X or in other mod packs, you can have a 1X or an 8X, all sorts of things. I think it's 9X. And when we plug this guy onto our system and power flows through it, it'll all get burnt up because this source had more than what this cable can take. We would have to use a 4X cable to kind of convince it to function. Now, between this, these four steam turbines and this CEF, eight uh, amps are flowing through this. So that's more than enough to power that system. If we take a look over here, we see a whole ton of furnaces, right? And we already know that this CEF is gonna push out four amps. Now, again, we can do the test. Here's a 1X conductive cable, Zzz, doesn't like it. It'll trick you. It'll make you think like, hey, yeah, this is great. Totally working. But the moment you hook it up to your system, everything goes haywire wherever power tried to flow. Not good. But just like we learned over there, we only need a 4X conductive cable for all of our 4X CEFs. And then this guy will power all of our furnaces here. It's great. It's wonderful. Things get a little bit trickier when you start looking at a CEF that has 16 amps, right? The same 4X cables aren't gonna work here, but they might, right? Until we start trying to power too many machines. Then the amps get out of control because th this guy tried to push to four machines and that's where things get weird. You'd think it would have burnt at that level. Instead, it burnt at this level be on the safe side and use the proper cabling. We can grab the 16X cable, for example, and this'll work just fine, all right? We can even plug it in back here, which will power all of these guys hunky-dory, but the moment that we would touch our system back here, 
See? Not touching these cables. And zzz. Be careful not to kind of confuse your wires, get things all wrapped up, and remember, just try and have fun. Tinker around and you'll figure it out. But whatever you do, be really careful around unwrapped uh, wires. These things, like the 16X ones, they won't just zap you a little bit, you'll be dead.